Hello and welcome to session 30 of the 5-Minute Bible Guides. In session 29, we talked about why the Bible should be taken seriously in this oh-so-skeptical 21st century. In this session, we'll be looking specifically at what the Bible is asking of us all. Okay, what does the Bible ask of people? Well, to start with, the Bible asks to be given the chance to speak in its own voice. A quick read of quotations by famous people about the Bible provides a wild variation of opinions from harsh condemnation to rapturous praise. If the opinions of famous people matter to you, reading such a list can be a highly confusing experience. But a direct, personal experience of the Bible itself can be very different. Starting in a book like the Gospel of John or the Psalms and allowing that book to speak for itself can lead you into some very unexpected and pleasant experiences. You may gain great comfort from its promises that, that God loves you deeply and has made you for a purpose. You may be challenged by its call to grow into a person of integrity and honor. You may be corrected in your thinking, your attitudes, and your behavior. You may even gain deeper understanding about human nature and human society. You may find strength to endure hardship and suffering. You may find that when you take its words to heart, the direction of your life will change in ways that you could never have predicted. Ultimately, the Bible asks that you give God the chance to prove himself to you. From the beginning to the end, the Bible urges people toward faith in God. Now, although much has been written about faith in its purest form, it's not complicated. Faith in God's like a child trusting a loving parent. It's like a true friendship that you can count on for a lifetime. Faith is like marriage at its best. Faith hangs in there, not taking immediate circumstances as the last word, but choosing to believe in who God is and what He has promised. The Bible asks that we put our trust in Him and cling to hope in His goodness, truth, love, and wisdom. Every story in the Bible charts a path of faith from Abraham, David, Ruth, and Esther in the Hebrew Scriptures to Mary, Joseph, Peter, and Paul, and even Jesus himself in the New Testament. None of these people had all the answers they desired about their circumstances or their future. Each of these people suffered in their own way. What sets them apart as people of faith is perseverance in their commitment to trust in the ultimate goodness and wisdom of God. Our age is one of deep skepticism and even of a cynicism that borders on despair. With all the advantages of a high level of education, amazing technology, and a level of prosperity that most previous generations could never have dreamt of, many 21st century North Americans and Europeans seem to live in constant anger, fear, and self-absorption, the fruits of a culture that has abandoned faith in God. Yes, there are historical reasons for our cultural skepticism. Two devastating world wars, the shadow of nuclear and biological apocalypse, constant terrorist threats, pandemics, and the follies and failures of religious leaders that many of us looked up to. Yet even so, the rising tide of anger against all that the Bible stands for is truly chilling. One could ask the anti-Bible voices of our day where their angry skepticism ultimately leads. Does it give hope? Does it unite us as humans? Does it give any lasting reasons to live positively? Despite the sins and silliness that sometimes go along with organized religion and high-profile religious people, the Bible remains the single greatest source of love, joy, and positive living for our times. In the next 5-Minute Bible Guide, we'll have a bit of fun looking at some interesting and maybe little-known facts about the Bible. Till then, this is Dr. Michael Bogart with the 5-Minute Bible Guides. We'll see you then.